Hi everyone, this is the enhanced control of the home automation screen menu. Thanks everyone for supporting the previous video that eventually led to this version 3 created on a larger screen and better processing and features. Do note that this system is fully wireless, that is once button were pressed from the screen, signals were sent out via the NRF24L01 module, which is this one, that controls other lights, window, air conditioner, etc. This main control module can be placed anywhere in the room within a 50 feet radius away from other NRF L24 modules for strong signal. Now please note that the slave modules are always listening to the master control module that is the one I'm controlling here right now. Slave modules are plug and play to fit into existing, existing appliances and features in the room so there's no need to modify the room drastically to fit into the home automation and to keep the cost very low. Just let me give you a quick introduction of how we can integrate that. This is the NRF module that is independent of the master module and this is constantly listening for signals from the master module. Now let's take a look at the screen. The menu was designed very intuitively for people with fat fingers. Granted that you could be using a touch pen to navigate the menu, but however, they will defeat the objective of this project. It's supposed to be very easily to be pressed and conveniently to be used. Anyone will know how to use because the button itself pretty much self-explanatory and there's only so much function in the room. So let's take a look at the three sections that I have done for the this uh, automation project. The menu was designed very intuitively at the top right here being the reminder. Okay, So uh, the font size can be adjusted to fit into the, this very small space. If you can see the yellow box so is the reminder area. The left side as well, the top left here, will have also have the light indicator module or rather the signal. Signal of course will come from this detector here we should then determine the light. But in the room right now, I'm actually having a fluorescent light and therefore the light is, is not very strong. So if you can see that the light is 910 right now, if I move this across to the window here to get the light, this will actually change to become much, much lower. And of course, if I place this to the window here, to the window just next here, right? This will be much, much lower. Um, the value, um, the temperature here is something that is, uh, again, the value can be adjusted by the system. So this is the temperature module. Okay, just zoom in here. Right? And this temperature module can be customized to behave what the user wants. The big value shows the current temperature, whereas the two small ones shows the lowest and the highest temperature recorded since the system has been activated. One improvement is that the range can be selected for a specific period of recorded time, but right now, it's only start when the system is activated or reset. The top or the right hand menu. Just let me click in and you will be able to see the clock alarm. This is where I can actually set the alarm to be on or off. So you can see that right now it's about 2.35 in the afternoon and if I actually set the alarm, just let me go do a quick demo, notice that the whole screen will refresh. One improvement is that we can actually make just the time to refresh itself rather than the whole screen. Just reduce the time to until 2 and let me set to the latest, the earliest one. 236 with the alarm, pressing the green button. And you notice that the alarm has been set at 236 pm, whereas right now it's 235 pm. 36 pm now. Okay, just wait a while. The logic behind is a bit special. There are some constraints in actually detecting the time matching against the alarm clock time. So right now you can see that within that minute itself, um, this uh, alarm has been uh, activated and this is actually a wake up timing wake up um, button press this 
to see the activities that you may have for day that was also set in previously okay once you that uh, you have this right these activities that you know what you're going to do for the day just press anywhere in the screen to go back to the main menu let's now activate the start button to see the main menu okay here you can see that the simple menu is simple consisting of auto sleep the fan the window the lights the aircon and the off button why is there a blank space next to off is because we will want to allow the user to confirm this function so let me just give it a try off and this is actually there's a word in here let me just do a focus properly okay. you can see that in the words are you sure so if you press sure you can actually go back to the main menu all right so let me just go back here again okay so let me do some demonstration on the buttons and see how the system will refresh the screen you notice that this is very different from the previous version where the whole screen here is actually this section is updated right now the button itself is refreshed rather than the whole screen it's much much faster okay So the, the system will actually send signal to another listening system at the fan area where you activate the fan one via some servos. Again, this can be retrofit and tweaked accordingly to the preference. It may be that the fan button, it may be for electronic fans or button fans. So no matter as long as your hardware can interact with the control surfaces of the fan, home automation will be a reality. Okay, so it goes the same for window as well. If you press window, window is just a matter of opening and closing. So uh, obviously when you press it's a highlighted area, it will be that the window is closed. Sorry, open. Or whatever you want. So if you press again, you will deactivate the window. If you press again, the window is open. Alright, the same goes for lights, air condition. So let me demonstrate that pressing off button, the whole menu is going to be reset. This clearly shows that when the user is like going out of the house and he press the off button and when you actually go back to the room again, the whole house, the whole room or rather, all the features of the room is being resetted. Just press around a few more times. I can disable the off. The auto. Thanks you guys for watching the video. Do check out the older version if you'd like to see how this project evolved. I'll post another video soon about my homemade air conditioner using Peltier modules. So do subscribe for the latest development of my plug and play room automation. Cheers!